So in the previous lesson, we looked at how to add and subtract other number bases. However, in this video, we are going to focus on multiplication and division of number bases. Now let's solve these examples. So for example, 1. We have 1011 base 2 times 11 base 2. Now let's multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Now let's move on to the second value. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Now let's add these two values. We are going to do that in base 2. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Now because we are working in base 2, we can write 2 here. So we divide 2 by the base and then we have 1 remainder 0. So we are going to write the remainder here and then we carry on the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 0. So we have the remainder and then we carry on the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Also we have 0 and then we carry on the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 0 and then we carry on the 1. Therefore, this is going to be our final answer. Now let's move on to the second example. So for the second example, 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. Now to the next value. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 0, we have 0. And then 0 times 1 is 0. To the third value. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 0 is 0. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Now we are going to add all these three values in base 2. So we have 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 0. So we have 0 and then we carry on the 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. And then 1 plus 0 is 1. So this is our final answer. Let's move on to the third example. We are going to work in base 4. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 0. So we have 0 here. And then we carry on 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 1 is 5. So this becomes 1 remainder 1. So we have 1. And then we carry on 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. Now let's move on to the second value which is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 2. So we have 2 here and then we carry on 1. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 7. So that's going to be 1 remainder 3. So we have 3 and then we carry on 1. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 0. So we have 0 and then we carry on the 1. So we have 1 0 3 2. Now to the third value, 3 times 2 is 6, so that becomes 1 remainder 2. So we have 2, we carry on 1. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, 7, so that becomes 1 remainder 3. So we have 3, we carry on 1. And then 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4, so that becomes 0 remainder 1. So let's add the three values. 0 plus 0 plus 0, we have 0. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 3 is 6. Plus 2 is 8. So 8 divided by 4 is 2 remainder 0. So we have 0. And then we carry on 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. Plus 3 is 5. So that is 1 remainder 1. So 1. And then we carry on 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we have 1 here. So we have our answer to be 1, 2, 1, 0, 3, 0, base 4. Now let's move on as we solve more complex examples. So now to example 4. Simplify 5 EET times 4 in base 12. And then for example 5, find the area of this rectangle. 
So we are going to simplify 5e e t times 4 in base 12. Now because we are working in base 12, when you see the letter t, then this represents the value 10. And then when you see e, then that is equal to 11. So let's take note of that. t times 4 is the same as 10 times 4. So 10 times 4 is 40. 40 divided by 12, we have 3 remainder 4. 12 times 3 is 36. 40 minus 36 is 4. So we write the remainder here. And then we carry on 3. E is 11. So 11 times 4 is 44. Plus 3 is 47. 47 divided by 12 is 3 remainder 11. 12 times 3 is 36. 47 minus 36 is 11. So instead of writing 11, we are going to write E. And then we carry on 3. 4 times 11 is 44. Plus 3 is 47. 47 divided by 12 is 3 remainder 11. So here also we have E. And then we carry on 3. Now 4 times 5 is 20. Plus 3 is 23. 23 divided by 12 is 1 remainder 11. 12 times 1 is 12. 23 minus 12 is 11. So we have 11 here. And then we carry on 1. So we have 1 here. And this is our final answer. 1 E E E 4 base 12. Now let's move on to example 5. So for example 5, we are going to find the area of this rectangle. Now we have the length to be 1, 1, 1 in base 2 centimeters. And then we have the breadth to be 1, 1, 0 base 2 centimeters. We know that the area of a rectangle is given by length times the breadth. Therefore, we have 1, 1, 1 base 2 times 1, 1, 0 base 2. Now let's multiply the two values. So we have 1, 1, 1 base 2 times 1, 1, 0 base 2. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 1 is 1. 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 And then 1 times 1 is also 1. Now let's add all these three values. All in base 2. So we have 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. Plus 1 is 2. So we have 0. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 1 is 3. We have 1. Remainder 1. And then 1 plus 1 is 2. So we have 0. And then we carry on 1 here. Therefore, the area of this rectangle is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 centimeters in base 2. Now to example 6. We are going to evaluate 2, 4, 0, 2, base 5 divided by 13, base 5. So for division, it is very confusing to do that straight away. However, the best thing to do is to convert all these values to base 10 and then we perform the division. After that, we convert the results back to base 5. So that is exactly what we are going to do. Now let's convert 2402 base 5 to base 10. So that's going to be 2 times 5 plus 4 times 5 plus 0 times 5 plus 2 times 5. So starting from the right hand side, we have 0, 1, 2, and then 3. Now let's simplify. 5 exponent 3 is 125 times 2, we have 250. 
5 exponent 2 is 25 times 4 is 100. 5 exponent 1 is 5 times 0 is 0. 5 exponent 0 is 1 times 2 is 2. So 250 plus 100 plus 0 plus 2 is 352 base 10. So 2402 base 5 is equal to 352 base 10. Now let's work on the 13. So 13 base 5 is also equal to 1 times 5 exponent 1 plus 3 times 5 exponent 0. So this also becomes 5 exponent 1 is 5 times 1 is still 5. 5 exponent 0 is 1 times 3 is 3. So we have our final answer to be 8 base 10. Now let's divide 352 by 8. So we have 8 on the outside and then 352 under the square root. Now 8 goes into 35 4 times. 8 times 4 is 32. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. We drop the 2. 8 goes into 32 4 times. 4 times 8 is 32. We subtract the 2 and then we have 0. Therefore, 352 divided by 8 is equal to 44. Don't forget that this value is in base 10. Now we need to convert this value back to base 5. Now to do that, we are going to create a table. That is, we have the base and then the decimal value and the remainder. How many times does 5 go into 44? 5 goes into 44 8 times. 5 times 8 is 40. 44 minus 40 is 4. 5 goes into 8 only once. 5 times 5 is 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. 5 goes into 1 0 times. Remainder 1. Therefore, 2402 base 5 minus 13 base 5 is equal to we are going to read from the bottom to the top so it's equal to 1 3 4 base 5 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye